here. I'm here today to show you my Ipsy Ultimate. Ultimate. <laughs> I just got it today, so I'm pretty excited. I did look at the stuff just because it, these boxes take too long to get. <laughs> Then I start seeing people's, you know, videos, and I get curious, so I just open the tape up. Let's see what's inside. So I did have something I got for my points. So this is what I had got with my points. It is a Madison and Miller blush. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Like a lot of people got this either in their Ipsy or the Adams a few months ago or last month. Definitely looks pretty. It's right up my alley. Beautiful. Looks like a lighter payoff, so you can definitely build it up, which I think is pretty good for blush. All right. And I did get a little pamphlet thingy in a bobber. That's cool. I don't think I got that last month. This is the bag. Very cool. It's pretty, it's a good size. Looks like that. It's got like a purpley pink, like a wine color on the inside. That's neat. It seems pretty sturdy. Uh, I would need a bigger one though. <laughs> so, but I can figure out something to do with it, I'm sure. And the next item is our <laughs> these face masks. So that's cool. Uh, these are from F Feel, and they're the brilliant ones, I think. They are bamboo charcoal facial sheet masks. It says they're powerful detoxifier and pore minimizer. Very cool. All right, so these face masks, it says set of four go for $35 and it is a full size. The next thing is this little Pixie by Petra. And it's an eyeshadow duo. It is so cute and tiny. It's kind of smudged up a little bit. Looks like that. I don't think I'm gonna open this. I think I'm gonna put it in um, a stocking. I think that's perfect, a little stocking stuffer, because my family really like the neutral colors. <laughs> so that'll be a good stocking for them. All right, the next thing is this fluid. Some sort of lip color. Smells pretty good. Very pretty color. Looks like that. I think that would look nice on me. I'll have to try it out. This is fluid liquid lipstick in candy bar. Is that what I got? Yeah, this is in candy bar. <laughs> I didn't even check the shade. Um, it is a full size and it is $16. So the next thing, I think these two go together, it looks like. They're the Galactic um, Sparkle Lip Balms, 3-in-1. I have one of these. I think it's this one. I got it in last, <laughs> my last Ipsy. Periwinkle? Yeah, I think I have Periwinkle. I don't think I have Twinkle, so I think I'm gonna just set Periwinkle aside and either put it in a stocking or save it for a giveaway or something. But I will definitely swatch Twinkle. No scent. I have used, I have used my um, one before and I like it. It's just like a lip gloss, honestly. But you can't really put it on top of anything because it will like take off the thing because it's kind of harder. You have to put, apply pressure, more pressure than you would, um, with a lip gloss. You can kind of see the sparkle there. <laughs> Again, my lighting's not the great. That little set there is worth $34. Yeah, I wouldn't pay $34 for that. But that's just me. 
All right, the next thing is something from Delectable Super Softener Butter Balm Hand Cream. And this is in Triple Citrus Blend. That is nice because my hands are so dry. It's winter, obviously, and I work at a place where you have to constantly wash your hands, so I definitely am excited about this product. Let's smell it. Ooh, it smells really nice. Let me use a little bit of it. Try not to smear that lipstick. <laughs> it does smell good, but now that I have it on my hands, it kind of smells like um, a public bathroom. Not in a bad way, but like the scent they used to cover up like farts. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. I mean, I'll still use it. <laughs> it's not the worst thing. All right, the next thing is this in this little packet. And it is from Space Case. It's a highlighter, it looks like. I've gotten, I think, an eyeshadow or a blush, or maybe both in my FCA before. And I've ended up giving them all away. So it's nine dollars. Packaging makes it all fluffy. It's kind of open a little bit. Um, the shade is Seen from Space 1E. And it's kind of broken a little bit. See in the bottom? I mean, it's still usable. But it definitely makes me not want to give it to somebody. I guess I will use it. There you go. I'll try it out. I don't think it has that weird bouncy texture that it usually does. So, we'll see. We shall see. It kind of doesn't close very well either. Packaging is not that great. <laughs> so the next thing I have is this box. All right, let's get this puppy open. Oh, wow, this looks nice. It looks like my brush has a mohawk. <laughs> nice it feels pretty soft which I mean is good but for me when I'm like trying to contour I don't want things to be too soft because I want them to like stay where they're at I guess it would be good as like maybe like a blending out brush or something we shall see I'm not terribly excited about this I would want some more structure to it let's see It might work. It does feel a little bit dense. More dense than I thought. Okay. We will give it a go. The next thing in this box is an Illamasqua liquid eyeliner in black. Shocking. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not going to open this because I have uh, two liquid eyeliners and I don't wear very much eyeliner. I just put it like on the outer half of my eye. Cause I don't like the way when you put it all over it kind of closes my eyes off so I will give this away the next thing I have is this um, cleansing balm from clean it zero and I'm pretty happy to get this I like cleansing balms I don't think it smells like anything and it's just a balmy a balmy texture which makes sense that's cool I'm pretty happy about that um so for that eyeliner it's $22 like wow that's crazy and for that brush it's $35 we shall see if it's worth $35 <laughs> okay so the next thing I'm pulling out here is this 111 skin it's a cryo activating hydrogel. Looks like this. I think 
a lot of people about this and I actually picked this product because um, several months ago they had a ton of advertisement on YouTube so it kind of got in my brain I think <laughs> the subliminal messaging it looks like this it's pretty bright colored the packaging feels nice it is glass And it is half full, like most people were saying, which is not that awesome. It kind of looks full when I do that. But it is kind of like down to here. pretty good it has a slight scent to it but nothing like crazy I like it and I think this has like an astronomical price tag on it too yes it's two hundred dollars <laughs> and it is the full size yeah interesting I'll give it a go I definitely won't repurchase it because it's two hundred dollars and and the next thing I have in here is a Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Polishing Micro Exfoliating Truffle. I think this is just a exfoliator. <laughs> what are you? What's a gommage? Gommage. I don't know. I guess I can read the instructions. I'll show you first though. <laughs> it's a pretty big size. Face gamage. <laughs> I don't know why, but that word makes me laugh. Let's see what the instructions tell me to do. Ideal for normal to oily skin. That's good because I have oily skin. Oh, apply a dollop of product onto face and neck without using water. Gently massage product into skin in a circular motion for one to two minutes. Remove with a damp, lukewarm face towel and pat dry. I'm excited to try this. Let's see how much this puppy dog is. I wish there was like a list and not this. <laughs> it is $28. Okay, it's kind of, you know, not the highest. We'll see if it works. I'm excited to try this. All right, last thing in my box is something from Morphe. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw that it was something from Morphe, I was a little bit disappointed just because I'm, I think we're used to getting more high-end products in boxes like this, so. I am happy to try more Morphe products though, so. <laughs> this is uh, 8L Lo-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Highlight and Contour Palette. And it says, blend the rules on this and bubble wrap that's good this looks like a standard morphe palette and i open it up and it looks like this that's pretty cool actually it's, i think i could pretty much use every one of these colors maybe um enemy would be a bit dark right there but I would try it for sure. The highlighters look pretty neat. And uh, swatch the Stardust one. Hmm. It's right here. You can barely see it right there. It is definitely not like blinding. Let's try a different one. This isn't lit, it's like the yellowy one at the very bottom there. Right there. I think they're good for everyday use if you're not wanting to like, you know, draw any attention at work or anything. But yeah, this is the palette again. I am happy to try it. Just a little bit like, you know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you guys got in yours if you got it. Um, I think this will probably be my last one. I'm not terribly impressed by it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!